Hey guys, what's going on? It's Barry here, Aussie Gaming, Aussie Accent. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to actually farm the Horde Tink. So right now what you're going to want to do is go offline on your console, I'm already offline, and completely start Borderlands from fresh, so quit out of it. Go back to your dashboard and start all over again. You're going to come to this location on Jacob's estate. So in this part of the map, you go from the spawn, you walk around to where I am, or you can actually jump across where the... Um, the iridium triangle is so that you can actually jump up the waterfall there if not just go around that's fine where I'm standing right now is where the actual um, respawn unit is so you're going to want to activate that once you've been up in the top left there and you come down to this bottom right bit here there will be two hoarder tinks there sometimes can be two um, I've heard game snap got four or a little bit more if you want to go check out his channel he's the one that discovered this glitch so Really, when they patched this game, they didn't actually allow the hoarder tink like him to spawn every single time. They actually made it so he there was only a little bit of a chance there. But when you go offline, it actually gets him to spawn all the time. So this is actually a really good farming method because you can actually restart your game, well, leave, come back in, and then do it all over again, and he'll always spawn. Now, when you go off that section off the right, I've had the chance where I've had one... Quarter tink spawn every two or three restarts. Um, it's not too bad. It's pretty good, and you do get quite a few legendaries. I've already gotten like three or four legendaries across the time I've done it. And always make sure you shoot his backpack. I've got an explosive um, when I shoot people, so that doesn't really help. But shoot his backpack, and sometimes he will actually drop his backpack when he dies. If you open the backpack, you have more chance of getting more legendaries from him than what you would if you were just shooting him and he wouldn't drop it. But this has been one of the best farming methods I've done really besides the Jabamwai uh, Mogwai. So if you want to see that one, that's also going to be in the top right of the video. It'll be also at the end of the video. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos on farming methods. So like I said, I did not find this. GameSnap discovered it and Glitching Queen did a variant of it. So there'll be links down to their channels in the description below. They both do really great content and GameSnap is a really big um, deal at the moment. He's actually, his channel has exploded. It's going viral. He's doing a really great job with his content. Much better than me, I would say. But anyway, guys, that's been Baron, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, guys, peace. Thanks for watching.